Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use item editor. Um, I'm going to show you guys just some quick things you can do if you want to use it. Um, here's all the plugins I have. This is just an old server so don't mind these. You don't need them all. But there's item editor. That's the one I'm using. And I also have like world edit so I don't think that affects it though. But here's how you uh, use some of the basic commands. You do IE edit to edit the item in your hand and it'll open up this uh, GUI for you to use. So some of the main ones is unbreakable, so it won't have any durability. Uh, changing the name, which it'll ask you in chat right there. So you can uh, do anything just like uh, broken sword or something like that. And that's not spelled right, but oh well. And it'll change that, but um, I don't think you need essentials or anything, but it'll also allow you to do uh, colors so you can do something like that so golden text or um, you can also do things like L I think which is bold so that's nice if you want some like nice names for your weapons or whatever it is armor don't mind all this stuff that's old <laughs> uh, you can also edit the lore by adding a line so uh, you can do something like that and it'll add a line. Default is purple, but you can also change the color for this one. Uh, I don't know what to type, but there. It'll add another line to the lore. You can always go back and remove one of these if you don't like it. So like the numbers or something. Um, item flags are going to be hiding different things. So if you want to hide the enchants it has, attributes, all this stuff. But beware that once you click one of these, you can't undo it. So if you hide the die, uh, like on armor, then it'll always hide that. But we can do like hide unbreakable, and you can't see the little unbreakable now under there. And you can see down there it says hide unbreakable added. So if we do this, false, still shows nothing. True, still shows nothing, but it's still unbreakable. Um, <coughs> enchantments, I don't understand this one too much, but... You can kind of click w if there's one in here, but I would just get a anvil or use a different plugin. But um, another thing is, once you close it like that, you can't do IE edit again. It won't open. So you have to do IE reopen to get the item. It's lagging. There it goes. So reopen will reopen whatever was last edited. Special settings is for armor. I'll show you that in a sec. I don't know what that is. They're still working on it or something. But the main thing is the attribute modifiers. So you can add one or remove one or go back. And these are what affects like the main stats of an item. Like this pickaxe I made with efficiency and telepathy. That's a different plugin for telepathy. But um, the other things like efficiency you can change I guess. Oh wait no. That's not what I'm thinking. Those are enchantments. But you can change when in main hand how much damage and uh, the attack speed. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, what is it? here, a uh, shark, oh no, that's enchantments too, where is something, here we go, one main hand plus 0 0.4 speed, so, uh, I guess that is how it works, but I can show you here, so generic attack speed and damage are the main ones for weapons, so if you do damage, so you want it when you're holding it, and add a number, then you can type in whatever number you want. So if we want to do 10 damage, we do that. And when in main hand, 10 damage. But this will remove other attributes like attack speed. So you'll have to add that yourself. And if you want it to be slower still, like 1.16 combat, you're going to add a negative number, say negative 2.4. I think that's pretty much normal speed. Yeah. So. It'll be red, but it's not like a uh, really negative. It's negative because it's slower, like a normal sword. But you can also make it quicker if you want it to be a fast attacking weapon. Um, I guess that's that for that one. So you click the middle once you're done, bring it out. There's some other things you can do with uh, like armor, which adds this leather armor section where you can actually color it, which takes a long time but you can slowly see it change color, or you could shift-click to add 10 at a time. <coughs> so 
So this is useful, and it looks better than just dyeing it with normal dyes usually to me. But yeah, this is nice to have though, if you want a quick way to dye it. And as you can see, it's like a lot brighter than a normal teal. And you can put it on just like that. And you got a colored tunic. Um, we don't need that. But that's pretty much it. Um, I could show you another attri attribute, which is generic uh, armor. So here you would want it when you're wearing it on chest. Add number. I don't know add scalers or add multiplier scaler. Uh, those are different. But add number should work. So we can do 10 armor. And there we go. Uh, you can also do things like max health, which every one number is going to be half a heart. So if we do 20, then that's going to add 10 hearts of health when you wear it. So if we do that and go game mode survival, there we go. A whole extra health bar. Um, and it works just like normal. So yeah, that was uh, pretty much it for this tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys a quick plugin that is useful for most servers if you're trying to come up with random, like your own items. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.